So this is an addendum to my just completed video. I didn't realize it, but there's uh, unlocks in the game. I got a new hero class called the Botanist. But you, uh, as you do things in the game, you unlock other classes. I, I didn't realize that. So there's all of this stuff. And then uh, Encyclopedia is pretty cool. You go through all this stuff, it tells you about things you ran into in the world. And it tells you about how the cards work. Oh, this is my stats. Okay. And songs. I don't know anything about songs yet. So, yeah. It tells you about how the cards work, the different levels. Celestial Temple, City. And you can, um, Thousand Kingdoms, Old Race. Okay, apparently I haven't... Oh, okay. It changes on the bottom here. But you can go through the, uh, the artwork. Which is pretty cool. I like that. Toll Bridge, the Watchtower. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It's kind of... Some cool stuff. And what else? Oh yeah, okay. So some of the games they have alternate artwork for some of the classes. And it has, like I said, it tells you all about the uh, the unit and their stats. Yeah, though, I really like the artwork. The artwork reminds me, like I said in the first video, there was some uh, Lord of the Rings books published. And I said in the 60s, but I, I looked it up this afternoon. It was actually a particular series of covers, and they were illustrated by Tolkien himself, and they were published in 1973. And then they were republished again... I think in the middle or the late 80s and uh, they worked it they improved the artwork a little bit gave it a little more color depth uh, because you know it was back in the day and everything was done on a canvas you know or maybe by hand you know and there was no uh, automatic rescaling so apparently when he when he did the work some of it was watercolor, some of it was uh, sketch work and hand colored. And you can't just simply, you know, rescale it to fit a book. So the, when they, in the 80s, they were able to do some of that and they republished the artwork and it, uh, they increased the color depth and stuff. But yeah, it had this um, very fine line, classic looking very much like this. I, I love this guy's face. He's like, oh, my organs, oh. So, but uh, yeah, and a word bringer. So I don't know. I summoned that guy. I don't, I don't know how I ended up. It must be uh, the skill must randomly summon things. And I haven't run into any of these guys. So when I when I find them, it will show me. So Fury, Yager, Mandragoria, a Rose Knight, Svarter Elder, Volgofry Infantry. I'm sorry, Volgofry Cavalry. Mounted Marauders with good offense. So, Wiederganger. I don't know, is that Wiederganger or Wiederganger? Wiederganger? Is this, uh, where is this game? This game is made somewhere in Europe. So, and then you've got the portraits of the people that you uh, ran into. This guy stabbed you in the back. And this guy also stabbed you in the back. And that's 
the one you're playing at the moment, and this is the other lady that they tricked you into defeating. And she said, oh, you're being played. And, uh, yeah, that's the way it turned out. I mean, that was, it was kind of obvious that they, a lot of games do that, you know, with the, with the, the double cross. So, strategy cards. Acolytes of Wrath, Divine Aid. Yeah, it's really nice. It's, it's, and it kind of looks like, you know, tarot cards, too. It's a certain style. It's, it's very nice. I, I really like this style. It would be interesting if these were like hyperlinks, if you could link directly to the unit card. Summon Beasts of the Wild. Okay, but yeah, so this, this is pretty cool. Complete quest to unlock new content. Yeah, so I ended up with... Uh, no, I didn't get... What did I get? Fate Slots. There's no... No indication what these do. Win one skirmish or multiplayer map. So coming soon. Yeah, a lot of stuff coming soon. Yeah, I wish I would have recorded it. That's um, what I get. What did I get? So apparently, when you go into a battle, I think you can you can choose if I understood what it said correctly oh here it is yeah finish a campaign siege of Elbin with all the refugees still alive Lorelei the fated queen oh, I can't click on it well oh, that kind of stinks so yeah anyway I thought I'll, uh, I'll record this and maybe I will uh, stick it on the end of the video yeah, new discoveries. Yeah, I was uh, surprised to see that. Stronghold. Yeah, so anyway, this is what the, the different powers do. And a rebuild. And pillage. And level up. Explore. And camp. Build up and camp army. Friendly army is not in siege or inside a location. Army loses all movement, returns to battle ready formation even if it was retreating. All units immediately heal 20% of their health. Army gains supply of rank 1 to heal every turn. A power bonus of plus 2 for as long as it remains encamped. So healing level 2, 30%, plus 3 power, level 3, 40% heal, plus 4 power. That's kind of a nice thing. That, that was, um, what did they call that in Civilization? I think it was called like Fortify or something. Where you would get uh, bonus defense and a small attack bonus until you moved, you know, so you could defend a choke point, something like that. So, all flying units fly directly to the target location. Nightly charge. In the way. Increase the attack power from 5 to 6 and decrease the cooldown to 30 seconds. 6 to 7 to 25 seconds. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's all right. Yeah, I, th I think I'd probably stick this on the end of the video that I just made. Thanks for watching.